Kia ora mai tātou, ngā mihi kauna rā, kia koutou katoa kua tatū mai i tēnei rā. Um, ki te whakarongo ki a mātou nei, uh, marunga i tō mātou nei kaupapa uh, i whakatakotoa i tēnei rā. Um, I guess the, just sort of, it's going on from what Machu has just said, um, we wanted to, uh, I guess, make sure that when we had our talk that we brought up our partners here. Um, and I think the crucial thing uh, about that is that our relationship was founded because we actually wanted to re a relationship, we wanted a partnership. Yeah. As Māori, as mana whenua, we have a number of people who want to come up and have a relationship with us, with us typically because I've stuffed something up in the past. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's really quite an honour and a privilege to, to work with these guys um, in the EHF whānau um, and build a relationship from the beginning, mm -hmm. be intentional, design it, direct it, work with it, grow it and nurture it. And from a position of wanting to do that as opposed to being forced to do it because if you don't do it, something will happen to you. Um, so we're thankful um, and honoured um, to be here um, and to be welcomed. And also, we're very thankful that what they've been able to do um, in what, what some people call Whiteman's Valley has now been changed because of their leadership to Te Riu Aroha, the Valley of Love, um, <laughs> which I think is awesome. Um, and thank you for your leadership in doing that. Um, and hopefully we can get more of that. Um, so uh, uh, that's en enough from me. Um, I don't know how we want to do it, but I just wanted to make sure that these guys were up here and, and thank them and acknowledge them. And, and if you guys wanted to say something. Kia uh, ora, Kia ora, Kara and Wayne. Um, it's incredible and privileged to have the chair of Te Atiawa Taranaki Whanui, Wayne, and a trustee uh, of, of the iwi here, Kara, with us. Um, this has been an, an incredibly blessed journey for us um, and uh, we never imagined to be building partnership and relationship in such an intimate and deep way and with recognition that we're still at the beginning of that journey and we still have a long way to go um, but it's just been an incredible blessing and we take it as a massive responsibility especially considering all the work you have to do in your own land, in your own community, for you to prioritize this and to give it the amount of space uh, and importance that you have laid with it is, is a huge privilege for all of us. Uh, and I hope we can rise up to that challenge um, and create the type of world and, and community that we want to create together. Kira, um, I guess I just wanted to say that you know, we have a lot of partnerships with EHF, and um, this to me, the, the word partnership doesn't do it justice. Mm -hmm. And I think that, um, you know, we always go in with the spirit of wanting to give more than we receive. And I think we felt from day one that we keep receiving more than, than we're giving. And so it is a, a huge responsibility that we all wear as a community in terms of the faith and the trust that you've placed in EHF um, from your Fano. And, you know, as we've designed EHF, the architecture's always been based on the principle of what's good for fellows will be good for the organization, and their success is our success, and their failure is our failure. And I guess for me this week, and spending time with Yatiawa uh, at the Welcome Week, has really emerged and birthed the new evolution of that framework. Um, which is that the, the youth of Te Atiawa, Taranaki Whanui, if they're not thriving, we're not thriving. Oh and if your community is not healthy, and if your community is not succeeding, then we're not succeeding. And I'm excited to architect with you how we continue to build the program together. Kia ora everyone, um, we've got a little presentation that we wanted to share with you guys. Um, unlike all the, the awesome presentations that were before us, they've actually done something. Um, we've just got an idea 
and it's an idea that we think is worth sharing. Um, and we want to share it with you guys. Um, and just sort of leaning off what Matt, um, Matthew said around working with our tamariki and our obligation to make sure that we can foster a better future for them. Um, we've got an initiative that we have called Tetek Tribe, um, or a movement, if you like. And it's all about preparing our tamariki for tomorrow. Leaders, innovators, disruptors. Uh, kia ora mai tātou, uh, tēnei te mihi atu ki a tātou ko tai tina na mai i wainganui i te āhua tango tēnei rangi. A uh, kau ana ngā mihi ki ngā mana, ngā mana katoa ko tau, no reira tēnā koutou, no mai hara mai, whakatau mai. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's rock and roll. And um, te tech tribe, this is how we bring, bring the beautiful Māori word te to all these wonderful a- attributes of, of tech tribe. But what we're trying to do really and we don't want to do this on our own. And so the reason why we've got a platform today is to say to the world, help us build a movement so that the brown kids of our region are the future leaders of tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so whilst, whilst it's, it's, it's a, a moi moi a, a vision and a dream of our iwi, we know that this will only work if we're interconnected and if we operate with other people of like minds. Um, so that's what we want to do. We want our kids to have the skills, the networks, but more importantly, the pride. Because we've tried poverty, and it just doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess what we've done is we've come up with the five whys. It was probably something that um, I learned at some workshop that was inspired by some guy from Stanford, um, maybe. But I think it's a really good way of sort of... Um, deepening uh, the reason why, or sort of getting to the, what we call the ngako, the, the core of it. And I don't know if we've got there yet, but I guess the first one is we need to prepare our tamariki for the future. If we don't, who will? Things don't. If we leave things up to accident, then accidents happen. Um, the future is being changed radically. Um, we don't want to be the recipients or the, on, on the other side of it because we've been there for a long time. Um, we want to be at the forefront. Um, we want our communities to lead. This is about our tamariki, our whānau, and our communities. We want them to lead. We don't want to create a, a centralised system. We want to create a devolved system, a decentralised system. We need less bureaucracy, um, less, less paper pushing and, and, and lovely strategies that sit um, on, a, on a bookshelf collecting dust. We actually need action. Um, and we need organisations to actively engage our tamariki, our Māori, brown, Pacific Island tamariki. That's what we need. Um, we're building a nation. We've got to be intentional. And this is why it's really important. We, we see our, ourselves as a co-facilitator, co-creator with EHF, New Frontiers, and other people with good values, uh, and creating a real mega connector. Most of the, most of the Euro- Europe, uh, European New Zealanders and the institutions are not really connected. They'll engage, but they've got a KPI. This is not a KPI. This is a movement. We want a movement. We want a movement of people who are going to stand up and drive. Just like the, all those early presentations just before us, we're, we're at the infancy stage. We're at the, we're at the genesis, and we want to do it. Because we're not going to wait for other people to tell us what is good for us. We're going to do it ourselves. With others, we're going to stand as one, as part of a mega connection. There's so many good institutions out there who want to be able to participate with Māori and Pacific Island communities. So let's play that space with people with credibility, with people who see the big game. And the big game is the future workforce of New Zealand is going to be brown and yellow. (laughs) <laughs> and that's okay. That's real cool. And if you have a problem with it, then I'll have to say it again. 
It's brown and yellow. <laughs> Same colours as our rugby team here too, by the way. <laughs> um, so I guess that's what sets us apart, right? We, we, we don't want to go out there and build a strategy or another action plan or a, uh, another this, another that. There ain't going to be a plan. There ain't going <laughs> to be a written strategy. The strategy is movement. The strategy is movement. We're driving action. Um, and this is what we've started with. So to Tech Tribe is our movement. Hotutu is our new program. And for, for those of you who don't know the word Hotutu, um, Hotutu is the, the mischievous one, the disruptor, the, the curious minds, the creative. Um, and I think when we think of the word Hotutu, for, for many of us, Within Māori, it, it, it can actually be quite a negative word. Oh, that little hotutu, blimmin' breaking things again. Mm. Old Johnny doing, doing that again. Um, but we want to reframe that. We want to capture the potential of the hotutu. Because in every whānau, there is a hotutu. There is a mischievous little bugger, or buggeress, hey, um, who's out there breaking things, testing things, trying things. Let's capture that potential and give it directed purpose. Um, and not only are they like Maui, but they're like Moana as well. Mm. Mm. You know, um, probably more like, probably more like, probably more like probably Moana. More like, yeah, yeah. To be quite honest, uh, yeah. we have all our sisters up here, but they told us to get up here. <laughs> yeah. And um, I guess just in a little story, in terms of Maui, um, and, and in reference to that hotutu ness. Um, the story of, of him um, fishing up this, this land, the North Island, came out of that hotutuness. Um, he, was, he, he heard that his brothers wanted to go out for a fishing expedition. Um, and he knew because of his hotutuness that he would be excluded. So what did he do? He got his grandmother's jawbone, which was carved into a hook, and he snuck into the, sh into the boat um, before the sun rose. And that's where the story comes from. He then fished up the North Island. So without Maui and his hotutuness, we wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> so kia ora Maui. And uh, obviously the word ho is, it can also mean new and, and wind. So this is the wind of change, the tu, to stand for the wind of change. So we can create a, a dialogue and a narrative around this, which is going to which is going to meet but the ho to tu is going to be a program we want to design and we want to design with you. And just as a little aside, I showed this little presentation to my mum and she was like, oh, you're not going to put those Disney pictures up. There might be some copyright issues. <laughs> <laughs> and I was going, eh, <laughs> they're ours. <laughs> they're ours. And that's the other part of this story. Yeah. We want to create our stories. We don't want to be told our stories by Disney anymore. We want to create our own stories in our own way, according to our own bias, and that's an assertion of our mana motuhake. That's who we are. And so we are going to, we're going to do that. So we're not going to cry about that. We're just going to do something. And so um, this is just the, the starting phase of what we might do. Um, but we're really keen to test this with you guys in the next phase when we have a little focus group session. And we're uh, going to have a focus group session later on because we've just decided to. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we're going to create a camp hotutu or something like that. Yeah. And we're going to bring them together um, with hotutu experts like Wayne and, and, and the rest of them um, who will create what we call whakaro hotutu. Um, Business schools might call them business plans or something like that. We call them whakaro, thoughts, ideas, knowledge about being a hotutu. Um, and then we're going to present it at a hotutu festival. So we're going to bring a whole bunch of crazy people and creatives um, and, and break stuff um, and, and present it at an inaugural festival in Te Upoko o Te Ika a Maui. So that's the connection. That's the whakapapa. And then hopefully we can create um, some whakaro hotutu 
that we can get some support from other partners. I just, uh, I love words. And so if, I want you to look at this word, hōtutu. Okay, so we can break that down. Here's another narrative, and I just noticed it. The word ha, H-A, the breath. Utu, the reciprocality. Okay, tu, to stand. You see the Māori language and the Māori worldview has much to offer. But why don't we do it together? The breath of reciprocal standing together as one. Kapai. That just came to me when I was looking at the word. I said, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we're, we're getting to the end of our presentation, but it's all about innovation, creativity, and being a hotuti is hotutu is, is nothing new to us. It's how we got here in the first place. Some people think that we kind of got here by accident. We didn't. Um, we navigated our way here. Um, <laughs> um, so what next? So these are sort of the system, uh, the systems um, and s uh, next that we that we're doing. We, we've got a little project team. Welcome more. Welcome. Welcome more, more. Josh. You can be our whole project team right here. <laughs> um, we've got a little plan, you know. Not a big plan. Not a big no, plan. No, a little plan. It's a little Just plan. a tiny little plan. Because if you've got a big plan, then you're giving it to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> I learned um, from you. <laughs> and we know how much uh, we need to make to Tech Tribe successful. We need all of this. And then more. Um, so I guess this is our open invitation to you all um, to join the movement and be the next hotutu, because you guys are all hotutus <laughs> in your own way, yeah. and you've got to help us. And you wouldn't be here without it. So yes, we're going to have a workshop, um, and we've agreed we had a workshop a few, few weeks ago and got some of our family uh, members together and, and, and a lot of the younger ones, because this has really got to be driven by a lot of the younger ones and the mums, because that's where the family starts. So when you look at the word, when you look at the statement, we want to attach a thousand, we want to uh, approach, we want to affect a thousand families. When you have whakapapa, when you have genealogy, you can reach multiple families. This is not one. I can reach literally tens, if not hundreds of families. And in fact, this year, we're celebrating my mother's and father's grandchildren, and we've just reached our hundredth, they've reached their hundredth, Mokopuna, grandchild. So that's how it works. And so come with us, come and join us. Irunga ita ahu wa tanga o tenei karanga kia kauto, i wainga nui i te 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 korowai o te raukura a te atia wa taranaki fanui. Nei ra te fariki, kuhu mai, fakatai mai, mihi mai, tu mai i wainga nui i amato. Tena kauto. Namaste. I do do yoga. Kia ora. <laughs> We, got, we left you two minutes. <laughs> uh, kia ora, Wayne and Kara. Thank you for planting that seed with us. Please, you can have a seat. Um, I guess one quick thing I'd say from EHF perspective, having been a little bit on this journey for the last few months and, and thinking through this vision, we just scratched the surface here. Uh, and I invite you all to approach it with a very open mind and, and, and open heart. Um, what really resonated with me when you shared that vision, uh, I started off by saying that um, we hate poverty. Mm. That's, that's a shared um, enemy in this space. Um, but also uh, a clear recognition that the way we're building our economy right now, the way we're using the creative potential that we all have, isn't creating the type of world that we want mm. to, to create in our communities. Um, and therefore, what really struck with me here is, is less about, let's just take technology and bring yeah. it to indigenous communities. Mm -hmm. It is really bringing various tools and platforms that we have and the wisdom and knowledge and vision that you have and co-create something very new together uh, and so I invite you all to be thinking about various ways of nation building mm. that we are part of um, and, and, and in supporting your community and in, in in creating the type of community you want to be building together. Yeah, and I th I, if you take the word nation 
and in the word nation, it's, you know, there's lots of concepts, but there's, there's three things that really resonate with me, and that's the ATI, and that's a Māori word for people, ati. Okay, it's ati. So whether you like it or not, the Māoris are coming. Okay, and we're everywhere. That's how you get names like dentists and mulligan. <laughs> yeah, but, but, it's, but, but Yosef is right. Let's have an open mind. If we're going to design this, what we want to do is we're prepared to be vulnerable mm. in our thinking because without vulnerability, there is no creativity. <coughs> and that's okay. So long as everyone is prepared to be vulnerable. Um, so we don't have a template. But by God, we've seen some really cool stuff that inspires us. Uh, and if we can get many of our Māori women and Pacific Island women doing what was presented this morning, I just think we're going to have a better country um, and, and, more importantly, better homes. Better, better homes for our people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah.